whenever you are having these kind of uh, courses delivered to you in online and offline platforms okay so even the big big institutes which charge you lakhs of rupees if you are part of those and some of you would have been taking coaching and if you realize that the teacher is actually not developing the theory that is required and directly jumping to problems this i have put it in your schedule also the pdf schedule so if you're scrolling this would always give you an idea of how to choose your detailed course especially detailed courses whether it is offline or online the advance is such a competitive exam you need an efficient and competent teacher to guide you throughout it's not just lecture and dpp it's about doubt solving it's about what kind of uh, resources teacher is telling you and also in that resource what you should do and what you should do hey you guys welcome back to the channel physics sergi and here we are as you might have seen in the thumbnail going to present a checklist for the students uh, who are 2026 or 2027 aspirants as you could see that i'm discussing about the 11th standard students going to 12th and the 10th standard students going to 11th who are aspiring for the future je advance exam nscp and olympiads okay so the there are many students who and parents who come up with queries about not only my course uh, what kind of detailed course they are supposed to get into what are the checklists that you are supposed to uh look for when you are joining a uh, good detailed course retail course is something that doesn't assume uh, that the students are actually already having some coaching prior earlier uh, but ensures that the students are starting from the very basics takes them through a journey of understanding concepts and then move on to je advanced level and then finally if required for olympiads so let's have a listen so last year it was launched at this price and 95% students of this batch have already opted for the 11th to plus 12th course this year same thing will happen next year with 2026 so and they got the refund of this 11th fee 6999 they were refunded and only they are supposed to pay for 12th not just that that 11th course whatever the content that was available has been validity has been extended up till the je advance okay so this i have put it in your schedule also the pdf schedule so if you're scrolling this would always give you an idea of how to choose your detailed course especially detailed courses whether it is offline or online these are the things that an experienced teacher as an experienced teacher i've been teaching for the last 17 to 18 years to the very serious students in different platforms okay right so try to understand a good detailed course a teacher should not assume prior coaching or knowledge from the student okay this is very important theory should be developed systematically and one should not jump to problems without doing this either the content that we find um scattered around in online and offline coachings either it is too basic and student doesn't even know whether that content is actually up to je advanced level or not this is one side of teaching second st style that i have seen is uh the teacher doesn't concentrate on building the theory In the first one or two lectures of every chapter there should be a strong foundation that should be laid by the teacher in order that the visualization of the subject is done by the student remember the teacher most of the times he has done this particular topic 16 17 times based on his experience and they don't they don't go down to the level of the student to develop that theory for the student they assume whatever they know whatever the teacher knows already student knows then what's the point of delivering a detailed course okay so without developing that theory you are directly giving a formula and starting of the problems and problems are at very high level i don't think that is a good detailed course so please be careful whenever you are having these kind of uh, courses delivered to you in online and offline platforms okay so even the big big institutes which charge you lakhs of rupees if you are part of those and some of you would have been taking coaching and if you realize that the teacher is actually not developing the theory that is required and directly jumping to problems and on that day when the problem formula is given teacher is solving you will be comfortable because the formula is in front of you teacher has chosen problems in such a way that it feels as if you are getting them but the real uh, problem starts when you start uh, solving the questions on your own okay so with this without this second point you will be in a lot of trouble and make sure that the course that you are choosing has teachers who ensure these two points then the third one lecture hours and problems per hour 
the main reason why in our physics surgery platform we have recorded format is when you have 500 to 600 students appearing in a batch when we take up live there is a lot of lag in those live lectures for whatever one and a half hour or two hours class that we take up the number of problems or number of concepts that we can cover especially when serious students are there as part of the class will not be achieved there will be a lot of lag for the sake of covering that one and a half hour if you just solve less number of problems because one student is having one trouble while uh, accessing the easy part of the concept and he's stopping the entire class the rest of the class is just waiting for the teacher to get over that that is completely unacceptable when serious preparation is happening it is okay when you're teaching 20 to 30 students when a live class is taking place but if it is 500 students plus which is what we are looking at in our 2024 and 2025 batches and similar count we'll have in here also recorded formats ensure with timetable please understand the lectures would be given in with timetable it's not like entire format is entire lectures are given so i prepare the lectures and give it overnight and the next day timetable you will end up getting that particular lecture and you can watch it on that day at any point please understand and if you missed it on that day you can start uh, leisure at a later time so if you are a quick student then you can actually go through the lecture quickly you can pause at a moment and whichever whichever problem you are having on the board you can try it and then look at my solution and after the going through my solution also you are having trouble you can take a picture of that put it in the doubts group on the same day that you are watching the lecture you might be watching on a different day but i still answer that on that particular day okay so that's very important just before we move on to the next point right uh, i would like to make sure that students who are 2026 and 2027 aspirants they can look for a good detailed course in our uh, physics surgery map or physics surgery.com website right so you could be able to find these thumbnails for the 11th plus 12th entire syllabus detail course for 2026 aspirants valid till je advanced 2026 exam which will be somewhere on May 2026. And for 2027 20, aspirants, that means this is like an early start for the students, entire detailed course of 11th plus 12th syllabus, valid up till JE Advanced 2027. So that means we are talking about May 2027. So you can look for these two course links in the description below. Go to the website, go into these uh, courses that are relevant for you and try to read the entire features of the course and make sure that you take up the required course and then let's now move on to the next point in the checklist of our uh, good detailed course okay and regarding how to apply for this course i'll take it up at the end of this video let's move back encouraging students to read and explore some parts of standard books this is very important i'll show you a weekly planner that i give in which I'll give markings from the standard books. It's not just read H.C. Verma or read Resnick and Halliday. It's not like that. Whatever pages and parts that are important, which will be in sync with what I teach in my lectures, will be marked and given to you prior to that week so that you don't waste your time going through different resources. Time is the currency that you cannot waste at your age. Please understand that. JE Advance is such a competitive exam. You need an efficient and competent teacher to guide you throughout. It's not just lecture and DPP. It's about doubt solving. It's about what kind of uh, resources teacher is telling you. And also in that resource, what you should do and what you should not. So that is very, very important. DPP problems, quantity and quality. In some cases, the quantity is too high or low or quality is not good. There are repetitive problems of single concept. And uh, there are some concepts which are completely ignored. And there could be chances that some irrelevant stuff is given in some DPPs. All these things can be taken care by an efficient and an experienced teacher. Within the DPP, the wholesomeness of the content and multiple models that you encounter, it should not be just a subject to DPP, right? It should have multiple models of questions designed in such a way that the level of questions keep increasing. And also, no conceptual repetition should be there until unless it's required, and no concept should be left out. Okay, so that is very important. Ease of getting doubts clarified. I already talked about that, and I will be talking about it, that segment at the end of the video. 
frequent tests and feedbacks every week we will have a test for that particular week out of those 34 weeks so that would also be done so i hope you have understood the uh, required checklist for choosing a good detailed course and in case any of you are interested in either joining the je advanced 2026 right and je advanced 2027 courses uh, please do check for the validity also how long the course lasts that will also decide the price of the course okay so one very important thing that i keep repeating and most of my past students already know it that in case you have purchased any chapter course of a um, detailed course and then you are converting into a full course like now let's say some of you have already purchased any individual chapters and planning to take the 2027 or the 2026 detailed course um, after purchasing the course of these two you can contact me on the doubts platform app please remember our lectures and content and purchases are made on Sergi app which is on the left both on the android app or the windows app these are the two apps or in case you have made a purchase on the website physicsergy.com after doing that once you download another app called as Sergi doubts platform app okay so i'll leave all the app links in the description below you can go there and post what are the previous chapters that you have purchased for which i will offer you the refund okay so any of the chapters which are the subset of the future full course you will get the refund which is not available in any other platform online or offline refunding the chapter wise courses when you join the full course it is our way of having the confidence in the content that we deliver and most of our past students already know about it this is for the uh, understanding for the new students who are going to come into our platform okay so that's it uh, let's hope to see you in our courses and let's hope in, in even if you're not uh, coming to purchase my course i hope you make a very good choice and ensure that your next one and a half to two and a half years of preparation whether you're 2026 or 2027 aspirant goes very well because nowadays even uh, olympiads are going to become very important as uh, recently iits have announced that uh, olympiad um, merit students also will be considered for the je admission okay so keep that in mind uh, have a great uh, year at your studies and see you soon in the next video